back to my YouTube channel this is well and today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me video so we will start with the makeup that I'll be wearing and let's get right into it So for the hair, I won't be doing much with it because it's all about the face today. So as usual, these are my four essential. That is pastel foundation, uh, Nivea lip balm, mascara, not branded. This is not original. It's just um, uh, a piece that I got from one of the stores in town. And also the liner. I just got it randomly and I pencil so there are actually four four items that I use and I said three essentials because for the mascara I'm not gonna be using mascara and eyeliner at the same time so what I do is my eyeliner got finished and I, I've never replaced it so I will show you the hack that I use so I don't have to keep buying mascara and eyeliner every time. So I'm going to be showing you what I do. Stay tuned. So before doing your foundation, you definitely have to moisturize your face. And I will be using this Customs Baby and Perfume Jelly. You have to moisturize your face. For me, I think it, it makes the foundation uh, sit really nicely when I moisturize my skin first. So we are done with the, with the jelly. The next step is foundation. I don't use a lot of foundation on my skin, so just a little drop like that and that's what we are going to be working with today i like to use my my revlon mirror because it's really tiny so i get to see every spot really closely And we are done with the foundation part as you can see now the the skin is more glowy and more um, moisturized so the next step is the eye pencil for the eyebrows i use color 003 because um, it goes well with my skin it's not too dark it's not too light so For the eyebrows, I basically just do a line on top and a line at the bottom and then I fill it in because I'm not trying to do like the makeup artists. I'm just, you know, doing it like a, how a normal person would do. Someone who is completely green in doing makeup. So uh, a line underneath and another line on top and then I go in with the pencil and fill it. I 
and then you have to do like strokes so it doesn't show like you just you know it so it's it's not so obvious that you drew the eyebrows when you do strokes like that and like that it looks more natural so we are basically done with the eyebrows and here's the hack i wanted to show you when it comes to using mascara and eyeliner so when your mascara is finished or yeah mostly when the mascara is finished sorry when the eyeliner is finished what you can do is actually just buy mascara and you know the brush the brush is normally larger when you compare to the to the eyeliner one so you can replace your mascara and keep your eyeliner stick and this is what you do the stick open your mascara like that and you can actually pick your eyeliner from your mascara brush and just draw your eyeliner So that's my eyeliner and we're gonna do the next eye the other eye and that's basically it for the eyeliner but this one looks slightly longer so i'm gonna correct this other one yeah so it looks good now and let's close our mascara so the final step is the lip balm and one of the things that i really liked about this maroonish yeah it's maroon in color is the fact that it looks really natural so You don't even look like it blends really well so it looks like i just wore a, a gloss but this stays longer than most uh, lip glosses which is really nice so wow and this is our final look. Here I need to do like gel so my hair stays flat. But guys, that's our final look. So comment down below. Let me know if you like this look. This is very, um, this is a very natural look. It's nice for daily wear. Um, it's a look that you can go to work with, you can go for a walk, you can do a lot of things because it's very natural, guys. So please don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Until next time.